Where are medications obtained from? This video addresses this question and gives examples. Originally, drugs were derived from nature, including both plant and animal sources. The study of drugs that come from nature is known as pharmacognosy. Most drugs today are synthetically derived. Examples of drugs from plants include opiate narcotics, such as morphine and codeine, which are obtained from seed capsules of the opium poppy plant, and the drug digoxin, which comes from the foxglove plant. Examples of drugs from animal sources include the anticoagulant heparin, or UFH, that is extracted from pig guts. Another example of a drug obtained from animals is permarin, which contains estrogens used to treat symptoms of menopause, like hot flashes. It can be extracted from the urine of pregnant mares, so it's called permarin, a shortened version of pregnant mare urine. An example of a drug chemically synthesized is the antidepressant drug sertraline, produced by chemoenzymatic synthesis. The major steps in the production of sertraline include using a ketoreductase to convert sutralone to the intermediate ketamine. Ketamine is converted to sertraline by the Rosenmund catalyst, which is palladium with barium sulfate. Methanol, hydrochloric acid, and hydrogen gas are also added as cofactors to allow this step to occur. Also produced by laboratory synthesis are monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibody drugs treat a wide range of diseases from cancer to autoimmune disorders and are specific in what they target, limiting side effects of drug treatment. Monoclonal antibodies are produced by immunizing a mouse with a certain antigen. This causes B cells in the mouse's spleen to generate antibodies that specifically target the antigen they were immunized against. But since these splenic cells don't live long in vitro, they are fused with an immortal cancer plasma cell line known as myeloma cells. The fusion of these two cells produces what is known as a hybridoma, which is cultured and will produce many of these monoclonal antibodies to be used as drugs to target specific antigens. An example of a monoclonal antibody is adalimumab, which targets the pro-inflammatory cytokine TNF-alpha. It is used for autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and inflammatory bowel disease. In conclusion, please match the following drugs with their correct source. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.